Hi, Shalom. This video contains mentions of religious extremism and racism. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so originally I was going to put all of this into one video, but we've got a lot of ground to cover. So this video is going to focus on the origin story, if you will, of the homeschooling movement within the religious right. I've been researching this in pieces off and on for a while. Um, I've mentioned elsewhere that the religious right has long been using the legal system to its advantage, but I've never really gotten into the details about what all has happened, what is happening, and the extremist organizations that are leading the charge. I'm going to be focusing on the legal issues and organizations within the US because that's where I live. It's what I'm most familiar with and I wouldn't be at all surprised if I'm in the country with the most religious extremism. Okay, so to understand where we're at today, it's time for another history lesson. So in 1954, we had the famous Brown v. Board case there's actually a misconception about this case, and I had misunderstood this too until I did deeper research. Now, this case was won in 1954. The public backlash was not due to activists attempting to get this into legislation. The case was won successfully in 1954. The public outrage that ensued was because integration was now required by federal law and not every state wanted to enforce it. Now, don't get me wrong, it took a while for things to be fully equal in practice, but now the legislation was there. Unfortunately, you can't enforce laws that don't exist on the books. So this is what was happening in New Orleans in Louisiana, where Ruby Bridges Hall was the first black student to officially integrate the public school system. Again, this was federal law not being enforced at the state level. In the biopic Ruby Bridges, there's a scene where Ruby is being escorted into the school by US Marshals because some people are scum. And so they get up to the door and some Yahoo says, the state says you cannot bring that child in here. And one of the marshals says, the president of the United States says I can. This is what he's referring to. Quick little sidebar. Uh, yes, the Ruby Bridges biopic is on Disney Plus and rated PG, but don't let that fool you. This is not something you want to show young children. I'm going to post the IMDB parental content advisory so you can um, guide children's viewing accordingly. For the record, I was about 12 when I saw it and looking back, if I had kids, that's probably about the youngest I'd want to be watching this. Okay, so fast forward to 1962 when there was another important case, the Supreme Court case that officially ended Christian prayer in public schools. Again, these cases were won. Federal legislation was passed, and it's the same thing as the school integration situation. Some states didn't want to enforce it. Homeschooling in these circles was, by and large, a response to desegregation. These parents wanted to systematically control who their children met and what all they were taught. Now, homeschooling was not initially started by extremists. It was initially started by the more hippie liberal type parents who wanted to provide more individualized child-centered education. I have no problem with that. But after these court cases were won, Christian extremists took this idea of homeschooling and ran with it. In the next video, I'll be going into more detail about what this homeschooling movement turned into and the people and organizations who got it there. All right, thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Lahitra O, bye.